Okay, we're ready? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're doing quadratic transformations today. This is already in the turning point form. So in turning point form means that it's in brackets and you can easily see the shifting of this. So when it's in this form, so I'll just write TP for turning point. When your coefficient in front of the brackets will tell you if the general shape in dilation. So if A is a negative, so less than zero, if it's a negative, then it's a sad face shape. So I use your like that just to let me know. Your quadratic will be in this form. If your A is a positive, then it's a happy face. So it is in that form. So this A tells you your general shape or your dilation. This, if it is in a negative, it means that there is a reflection. So usually your quadratics are like that. But if there is a negative A in front of your brackets, then it will reflect along the x-axis. So it will be a sad face from there. Next, your H tells you, because it's part of your x, it's within, it's part of your x. So it tells you your x translation. So it moves left to right. So horizontal, so your x-axis, translation. The tip about this one is anything in brackets, swap sign. So this will be useful when we do circles later on. Anything in brackets, swap sign. So if it's a negative, we're actually doing the opposite. We're going to the right. We're going towards a positive x direction, positive x. So this is when h is a positive. I'll write plus h as well, which means that when x is a negative, it's going this Wait, no, like I said, sorry. When H is a negative, it goes in the positive direction. So right. So it's always opposites, remember? When it's in brackets, it's the opposite. When, which means when H is a positive, it's going towards the left. Now, finally, your K tells you your upwards translation. So now, You've got your X covered, you still have your Y, which means your K will affect your Y translation. And that's your vertical translation. See how it's not part of any brackets? It's not within any brackets, which means if it's positive, it goes up. Negative, it goes down. And that's all for the transformations. An example for that is when A is a negative X plus three squared minus three in that sense so have a look first go from left to right left there is a negative in front of that bracket which means it is a sad face so that's your general shape of it it's gonna look somewhere somewhat like that next have a look at that plus three remember opposite so plus three doesn't go towards the positive x goes towards the negative so it goes to the left three units that way. Remember it's part of your x, so it's going towards the horizontal x-axis. Finally, your last term, negative 3, is not in brackets, so the sign doesn't swap or anything. So negative 3 goes 3 down. Translations 3 down. And that's all. Go from left to right, look at what's in front of brackets. General shape, is it a happy face or a sad face? Remember, sad face if it's a negative, happy face if it is a positive. Next, look at the term inside your brackets. Inside brackets means swap signs. So plus three is actually going to the negative three. Next, your translation up and down, negative three, since it's not in brackets, it just goes how it is. Negative goes down. And you can do other examples, but that's basically the gist of it. Thank you.